Hello everyone, this video is a very short preview of the core features available in the OMNM infrastructure management software. If you're looking for a robust, feature-rich, single pane of glass to manage your entire infrastructure, then OMNM is definitely worth a closer look. The product can be installed on a single server, um, on Windows, Linux, or as a virtual appliance. The product scales from the management of a few devices up to thousands, and the high availability options are also available for larger environments. The product is, is competitively priced with a subscription model and is based on the number of devices under management. And it also comes in one, three, and five year subscriptions. It's also worth noting that all of the core features included in the software suite are included at no additional cost. So there is a lot of value provided at a very reasonable cost. Uh, so speaking of features, let's take a brief look. First of all, it's a multi-vendor application. It can manage switches, routers, firewalls, wireless controllers, APs, Windows, Linux servers, storage devices, virtual devices, VMware, and basically anything, anything with an IP. You see a short list here of some of the vendors that are currently supported. Um, and so let's, let's jump off here, starting with talking about alarms. What you see here is um, events that come in or alarms that come in, traps, or syslogs um, from internal and external sources. Internally, there are things like uh, performance monitor thresholds that can be set or conditions that can be set. So you'll see events uh, marking those, uh, those, um, those situations where performance monitors are out of, uh, um, out of threshold or out of condition, and so uh, they can alert you. Uh, but you can also get external events, obviously, from devices, or sys syslogs also can be generated from devices to come in here as well. And with a simple right-click option, you can uh, do various um, management capabilities, editing the alarm, seeing details, looking at topology, you can acknowledge, assign, clear, clear group of alarms, and uh, those types of things related to alarm management. On the performance tab, out of the box, dashboards provide quick uh, view into potential problems in your network. What we see here are uh, attributes that get ga are gathered automatically um, out of the box. Uh, um, once you turn on a few base monitors, um, it will start collecting this data. We see KPIs such as memory. Um, down below here, we have interface, bandwidth, uh, ingress. Out, um, and, and this screen is customizable, by the way. Uh, these are just a few of the parameters that we put on here by default. CPU utilization um, and those sorts of things. So you can quickly see uh, which devices are maybe struggling. Here we see in terms of memory, lab distribution switch here is, is, is uh, using up a lot of memory. So it's a quick view into potential um, performance issues with those devices. On the traffic flow tab, we see traffic flow data that we're gathering in OMNM. OMNM supports flows such as CFlow, JFlow, IPFix, NetFlow, obviously SFlow. Um, any device that can send a flow, um, OMNM can read and, and uh, display them on these type of portlets. Patterns can easily be seen over time. I can simply drill into a particular application or receiver or protocol. For example, here on Telnet, I will double click on that one. And what we see here is Telnet traffic over time, but I can further drill into this by um, who is receiving the, end, the endpoint that's receiving the Telnet traffic or the protocol for that Telnet traffic or receivers or senders. Let's just go into endpoint here. And so as I, as I drill into that, I see that now I'm showing that the endpoints that are showing this traffic. So I can quickly um, drill into where this traffic is coming from. Or if I wanted to use conversations, I can see between which two IPs uh, we're, we're having most of the Telnet traffic. So it's a very easy way to, uh, to uh, uh, see your traffic, traffic patterns over time, uh, various retention. And, uh, and mapping capabilities here. Um, you can also, if you have an IP address that's in question, you can use our search utility to go in and search for a specific IP or even protocol and, and explicitly display that on a graph as well. Topology is also a very customizable page. Once devices are discovered, um, all the devices will show up on your uh, topology page. You'll see layer two and layer three links. You can filter by various link types if you want to uh, have a more filtered view. Any associated alarms or link alarms on a link will also show up on this screen. And you have an easy way to just simply right-click a link or right-click a device 
and you can drill in and get details of that alarm to find out what's going on there. Various ways to customize this view to show you linked views into other parts of the, of the network. You can also put a background image on here if you want to customize it by uh, geographic location. On the resources tab, this is a central area for managing all your devices with simple right-click options. You can do most of the major functionality from here in terms of things like creating actions or this is our, um, our embedded scripting uh, to execute an action, change management where you can um, detect drift change in your um, configuration files, execute pro scans, uh, where we'll uh, um, basically have compliance policies that you can run against devices, event management by device, file management for backup, restore, and deploy, and various other things, performance that you can do by device. On the config management page, this is meant to be your single source and location to go to to manage your configuration files. We still have the Manage Resources Portland on this page, but it's been filtered to show you last backup, next backup, deploy, modified, and those sorts of things related to configuration files. You'll see that we have context-sensitive configuration files, and uh, you can easily do diff compares on uh, multiple files simply with a couple of uh, clicks here. Um, you can go compare a couple of files to see what the differences are. Down below, we have alarms related specifically to configuration events, uh, file backup, restores, deploys, those kind of things, image repository for importing your images or deploying firmware images to one or more devices all in one, one, all in one go. And down below here, we have scheduled uh, configuration management activities, scheduled backups, and those kind of things. On the automation and actions page, this is where we do all of our automation. It's basically event-based automation in, the, in, the, in response to any event, internal or external, we can invoke or execute an action uh, to go do something on the network, do an email notification. Our actions are uh, uh, preceded, um, but you can also create your own various types here, show commands, configure. You can even con create configuration file templates uh, with an action, execute external files, uh, use a Perl script or even do JSON scripting um, to uh, create an action. But the event processing rules that we have here, uh, we have pre and post processing rules. The automation is where it is a post processing rule. And so in response to an event for like a link down or monitor threshold exceeded or any event, uh, you can apply um, a filter condition to further refine what, um, what it takes to invoke an automation. But uh, um, the end of the automation rule, you're going to hook in an action. Um, again, that's to do an email or uh, run some action to affect the network in some way. On the compliance tab, we are, um, we are highlighting here the uh, compliance uh, management rules. And this allows you to set specific configuration uh, that uh, you can go out and scan every one of your configuration files for, for specific information. And if you're looking for something to be there or if you want to scan for something that shouldn't be there, you can uh, construct a policy in such a way that it will tell you that. And then you also have the ability to um, um, remediate those actions and remove or add configuration based on what the compliance policy finds. And that's what our compliance uh, remediation actions are. You would hook these into our automation rule that when a policy fails, go invoke some remediation action to either restore a configuration or put some configuration in the box to fix the out of compliance condition. And finally, we have reports. Every attribute inside of OMNM, every piece of data we collect is exposed as an attribute that can be used in a template. Um, and, and from a template, we can create any kind of report, any number of reports. There is a whole host of seeded reports, asset reports, inventory reports. We have software change reports that tell you when config files have changed, uh, hardware change reports, and so you can uh, run any of these reports um, to tell you more information about your network. We have end of life reports, many, many reports here, highly customizable, and you create your own. And to wrap up here, I would like to say that um, there's deeper videos on the YouTube site here. Please feel free to go to that site um, from within OMN and, uh, and explore those videos for more information. Thank you.